How do you block yourself from creating new expectations for your life? One way to do that is to hang on to the past, the couldas and the shoulds. What beliefs do you hold that allow you to stay stuck in your pain, grief, and misery? Here are some of the beliefs that often get us stuck in our past. He should not have left me. I will never find another one like him. Something is wrong with me. I can never be stand to hurt this way again. I cannot stay with someone who has had an affair. I cannot trust anyone. God is a mean God. Why does God let good people die? If God does not believe in divorce, and I don't believe in divorce, why am I getting a divorce? Emotional pain is bad. I, I need to avoid relationships that might cause pain. I don't need anyone in my life. You can start changing your beliefs. Since you chose your original beliefs, probably unconsciously, you can now consciously choose new ones. Here are some suggestions for new beliefs that can better serve you. I've gone through so much emotional pain that I hurt physically and survived. Therefore, I can do it again if I have to. I must be one strong person. What can I learn from this experience? How will I do it differently next time? Emotional pain is not terminal. I am a resilient and loving person who is not afraid of the future. I will choose who I want to trust, and then I will trust them completely, knowing that emotional pain is not terminal. I do not have to be perfect to be lovable. I do not have to be right to be lovable. I can love myself and others, not for what or who they are, but for what we are becoming. I used to reject things that I saw no value in, now I accept that there is value in everyone. I do not need a relationship. I want a close relationship. The ability to make good decisions comes from experience. An experience, well, that comes from making bad decisions. Are you willing to look at your own traumas in a new way? Or do you need to hang on to them for your hurt? The choice is yours. Please check the description section below for more useful links to resources about getting over trauma in the past. As always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for subsequent videos.